Hello and welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you are watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some very scary information coming out for you. This gentleman right here on your screen, his name is Robert Fico. He is the Prime Minister of Slovakia. Okay, Slovakia borders Ukraine uh, just near Moldova. All right, and so he's coming out ahead of a uh, like a very key meeting that's going on very soon. European leaders are going to be meeting in Paris, and they're going to be discussing this war in Ukraine because of how badly it's going and how poorly the uh, the West is uh, with their operation helping out Ukraine. How how poor it's doing, right? And he's coming out, and apparently he's saying that. He thinks that there's NATO and European members that are considering sending their troops to Ukraine on a bilateral basis. Okay, so are we at that point now? It like what this what this tells me. Okay, what this tells me is that this war in Ukraine is going a lot poorly, a lot more poorly, I should say, than we're being told. Okay, it's going very very bad over there and we do know that Ukraine is struggling right now. We know they're they're on uh, they're on their heels here, having to backpedal, and they're they're having to pull back. They just lost Avdivka, a key eastern city near Donetsk. Okay, and uh, apparently they're going to be losing a lot of ground here because they're running out of ammunition. They have no artillery shells, very low on all supplies. Okay, they have F-16s coming, but F-16s aren't going to be there anytime soon. It's going to be several more months, even even closer till the end of the year, maybe. Maybe even close to fall. Okay, so it's very interesting that he's coming out and saying this. So is he just fear-mongering? Is he making up stuff or what's going on here? I don't know, but that's what he's claiming. So I have an article here we're going to go over. So uh, this is off Reuters. Okay, Slov uh, Slovak. Prime Minister says some Western states consider bilateral deals to send troops to Ukraine. I mean, what is going on here? You know, we, we've had, we literally had Joe Biden, the president of the U.S., come out just in the last month or so as well. And he was claiming that if Ukraine starts to lose this war, we're going to put troops on the ground to back Ukraine. This is why I'm telling all of you, this war over here is so important. Even if it seems like it's not, okay, this war is very important to the West, to NATO members, European countries, all right, as, as it is very important to Russia. Neither side is willing to lose, and they will be willing to put boots on the ground if they have to, okay? Understand this, too, is that Ukraine is struggling to, uh, to keep their troop numbers up, okay? They're losing a lot of troops. And they, they just don't have enough people in their country to fund this war, to keep this war going by conscripting more people. They've even talked about moving the age limit down from 27 to 25. Okay, they have to go after the younger population, which is not really for this war, because a lot of their larger, po or the older population, excuse me, has been wiped out. Okay, so... This is a really big deal what's going on here. We really are close to something like this happening where NATO or uh, some European nations could feel the need to get involved themselves because they don't want Russia to take over Ukraine. They just don't want that to happen. So it says here several NATO and European members are considering sending soldiers to Ukraine on a bilateral basis, Slovak Prime Minister Robert Fico said on Monday. Fico has long opposed military supplies to Ukraine and has taken a position seen by some critics as pro-Russian, offered no details, and other European leaders did not immediately comment on his remarks. So no one said anything yet, even though he's claiming that these countries in the West want to send troops to Russia. Uh, but I guess they're saying that he could be considered, you know, kind of pro-Russian in a way. So he was speaking ahead of a meeting of European leaders in Paris that he's, he's due to attend later on Monday. I will limit myself to say that these, in preparation for the Paris meeting, imply a number of NATO, look at that, number of NATO and EU member states are considering that they will send their troops to Ukraine on a bilateral basis. Fico told a televised briefing following a meeting of Slovakia, uh, Slovakia's Security Council. And then he says here, I cannot say for what purpose and what they should be doing there, he said, adding that Slovakia, a member of the EU and NATO, 
would not be sending soldiers to Ukraine. Wow. This is really huge news right now. Like, how is this not on the front page of major news, you know, media outlets? This is huge. If this is true, we're really going to be putting troops on the ground in Ukraine. So see, this is so important here. That's why all these countries are committing so much money, so much of their resources. They are literally willing to deplete their war stocks to defend Ukraine. That's It's absolutely crazy. What is going on here? Why is Ukraine so important? Why is the West so concerned if they if they take over Ukraine? What are they so concerned about? There's lots of reports coming out that they're concerned that uh, you know that Russia may push on and attack another um, NATO nation nearby, like in the Baltics or something like that. There's lots and lots of reports coming out about that, but something seems really weird here. What is about to happen? Is Ukraine really about to fall soon? Is that why they're sending these troops to Ukraine? Why else would they send troops to Ukraine? If this is just training or something, they don't have to train troops on the ground in Ukraine. They can train them in other countries, which they've already been doing that. Why all of a sudden is there a push to supposedly send troops to Ukraine? Think about that, guys. Think about that for a minute. Members of NATO have supplied billions of dollars in arms and ammunition to Kiev and are training Ukrainian forces, but NATO leaders, including U.S. President Joe Biden, have underlined that the Western Military Alliance wants to avoid a direct conflict with Russia, which could lead to a global war. Well, yeah, of course they want to, uh, you know, of course they want to avoid a conflict. But if the time comes, you know for sure that's the first thing that they're going to want to do is put boots on the ground. Joe Biden already said that they would do that. Okay, and many other nations are warning that too. They're getting their citizens ready for war. They're telling them that, um, you know, that if Russia, they're, they're building up this narrative that if Russia takes Ukraine, that they're going to want to attack another nation. So this really seems like this is a potential that they're preparing to go to war inside of Ukraine and help Ukraine fight this war should they have to do that. That's what it seems like to me, that it's not about Ukraine falling and then the West coming and backing their aid. I wouldn't be surprised if the West comes in boots on the ground before Ukraine even falls to start helping them out. That's what this sounds like to me. Let me know what you think down below. Neither NATO nor NATO allies are party to the conflict, NATO Gen Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg said on February 14th. NATO had no immediate comment on FICO's remarks. Asked about the comments, Czech Prime Minister uh, Petra, Pet, or Peter, excuse me, Peter Fiala said, the Czech Republic certainly is not preparing to send any soldiers to Ukraine. Nobody has to worry about that. Fico said he saw a risk of a large escalation of the, conf of the conflict in Ukraine and that more information could not be revealed to the public. Interesting he said that too. He couldn't reveal more information. What more does he know? Some 20 European leaders, including Fico, will gather in Paris on Monday and send Russian President Vladimir Putin a message of European resolve in Ukraine and counter the Kremlin's narrative that Russia is bound to win a war now entering its third year, France said. There was some information that came out uh, just, I don't know, in the last month or two when, uh, I think it was near Kharkiv or something like that, there was like a military barracks or something that was hit in Ukraine. Russia struck some buildings or something like that. And then they, I guess they found out that French mercenaries were on the ground and uh, they were accusing France of being involved in this war. So... You know, do we know that that there's already like NATO troops on the ground in Ukraine and potentially like mercenaries from other countries? Yeah, it, it probably is possible that there's already troops on the ground and there probably has been troops there for quite some time or, or you know, masking themselves as Ukrainians, but they're really not. They're from other countries. But, uh, you know, th this is a, a pretty major red flag here. OK, if he's telling the truth here and this is something that's some information that's coming out and it maybe hasn't come to light yet. And that's why these other European nations are staying silent on this. Maybe he's exposing a future plan here where uh, NATO is really planning to put boots on the ground here. It could definitely happen. And with all the information I've been putting out here with Ukraine extremely struggling right now, they're in a very dangerous position. Uh, Vladimir Zelensky was just at a conference, I think yesterday or the day before, and he was saying there that they need they need weapons within the next month. What do you think that means? <laughs> what do you think that means? If they don't get weapons within the next month, what do you think that means? They're going to be in big, big trouble here 
and they're not going to be able to defend their country anymore. They are completely out of weaponry, guys. Completely. So Joe Biden already said, if, if Ukraine starts to lose this war, boots will go on the ground in Ukraine. American boots will go on the ground. They will have to fight the war for the Ukrainians. Now we've got this gentleman here, this uh, prime minister from Slovakia coming out, Robert Fico. And now he's saying that all at the time. Look at the timing here. I don't know. It's, it, I'm just kind of speculating here and trying to understand what's going on, but it definitely looks like it's possible. Let me know what you think down below, but this is very scary. Comment, comment down below your thoughts. That's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. And also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you. So with that, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope, I hope you have a good one. Take care and God bless. See you in the next one.